Welcome back everyone, Magical Chronicles here. We are back with another moon series. Yes, 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 get comfortable because guess what? Full moon is upon us, okay? So these energies, it's important that you know what's going on. You gotta figure out how to work with these energies. So what I do is I bring you a moon series twice a month regarding full moon or new moon. And what we talk about is how to navigate life with these energies, specifically around the moon, moon changes. You can work with these moon changes, you can manifest, you can burn candles, you can make different goals, you can work on your goals, so many different things, okay? So get comfy, let's get started. Don't forget, subscribe, like, comment, share, all of that. All right, let's start off with number one. There are eight things that we need to get through tonight. All right, number one. This is a full moon. It is called Worm Moon. It is in Virgo and it takes place this Friday, March 18th at 3.20 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Number two, this worm moon is the final, yes, final moon, well, sorry, final full moon of the winter season. Very important. Number three, so the word worm moon came about, it was actually from the Native American tribes, and they would name this particular moon, worm moon, because it would signify the timing, especially at the end of winter season, when a lot of the earthworms or different types of worms would come out, a lot of the insects, they would come out as soon as the trees or the dirt, everything started to thaw. So they named this moon, worm moon. Number four. So this full moon is actually before the spring equinox and actually plays a pretty huge role in religion because it is also called the Lenten moon. Number five. So this full moon is actually the moon that you want to pay attention to in terms of helping you find your balance. You want to create a more balanced life right now because this particular moon is actually gonna illuminate your fears, your worries, anything that's weighing heavy on your mind, it's gonna come up this week, this weekend, trust me. So this is the time that you wanna be like, okay, let me start finding some balance in my life. Let me start meditating. Let me start journaling. Let me figure out how to find and create more balance in my life right now. Number six. So this is a good time for you to start releasing. Let me tell you, release, 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 release. You want to let go of things in your home that are no longer serving you. It's all about that spring cleaning. This is the time, end of winter, going into spring. You want to start clearing out those closets. You want to start ditching products that have been lying around for a while. You want to go through those old books and donate them. It's about spring cleaning, okay? Because you want to change the energy around you and it can also help you jumpstart anything right now. Number seven. So this is the time when the days are longer, especially as we're moving into spring and summer. You have much more time to get things done. So you want to focus on doing as much as possible, okay? Get as much done, as you can right now during the next few months before we get into another winter cycle. So use the days, use them wisely. Number eight, last but not least, for my spiritual babies, perfect time for you to do your cleansing baths. Use whatever you wanna use. Sometimes people use baking soda and apple cider vinegar. Sometimes people use Epsom salts with some lavender. You can just use salt or you can just use a bubble bath, whatever works for you. But you also want to open up all your windows and smudge 
all the corners, all behind the doors, around the furniture. Do this to clear out any stagnant or negative energy that's around you, any dense energy that's there. I would say use whatever works for you. Some people like sage. Some people like Palo Santo. Some people just want to use cinnamon because they like the smell. So whatever works for you, use that. Also, burn a candle. Yes. White candle is perfect for this time. Because as I said, you're going from winter into spring. Some of you, I would say springtime, great colors, yellow candle, maybe even a light pink candle. Those are great, but I would say white is perfect. Um, rituals, those of you who really want to do rituals, you can get creative. You can put the oils on your candles. You can write down your goals and burn it. But this is great time for all you spiritual babies to do the work you need to do to move you into this springtime, okay? All right, so this is all the info I have for you for this full moon. Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. And every month I am bringing you new moon and full moon information to help you navigate the energies. So, all right, everyone, good luck. Don't forget, get on that spring cleaning. Remove that energy and you will be good. Magical Chronicles here. Take care. Bye.